A longtime member of the Brown County Board and clerk for Holland has passed away. Bill Clancy died on Monday, surrounded by his family. During his life, Clancy hosted then-presidential candidate Bill Clinton at his farm in October of 1992. Clancy sang, oh, Danny boy, and Clinton played his saxophone. Clancy was 87 years old. <laughs> Several thousand enthusiastic supporters greeted Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton as he emerged at the Clancy Farm in Greenleaf just after 9 this morning. I have spent a lot of time in my life, as you might imagine, on farms like this. When I was a boy, I lived on one. That's why I got into public life. I didn't want to work that hard anymore. The crowd had been gathering for hours, and people apparently liked what they heard. What we've got to do is to what always has worked for America and what is working for other countries now, which is to increase investment in new jobs. So here's what my strategy is. Ask the wealthiest Americans whose taxes have been lowered while yours have gone up to pay a little more. Ask foreign corporations to pay the same on their income earned in America that domestic corporations pay. This morning's breakfast rally was set up on short notice, and Clinton campaign workers didn't know what kind of a crowd they'd have to greet the governor today. They need not have worried. Clinton appeared upbeat and energetic and wasted no time attacking President Bush's economic record. You cannot grow an economy if all you do is cut taxes across the board for the wealthiest Americans and just get out of the way and see what happens. A lot of things don't work. For example, that theory will destroy the family farm. After his speech, Clinton was joined by his host, farmer Bill Clancy, for a spirited, if somewhat unpolished, rendition of Danny Boy. Clinton then made his way into a dense crowd that was significantly larger than campaign officials had expected. The last time I came to one of these, I uh, shook hands with John okay, Kennedy. Morning, and I just got a feeling that this is another guy what that we replaced like John Kennedy in my mind. The election is still over a week away, but if Clinton's reception in Greenleaf is any indication, he's generating a lot of support, or at least interest, in northeast Wisconsin. In Greenleaf, I'm Wally Griffith, WIUK-TV, News 11.